Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this month's Vlogmas videos. Today I'm going to share with you just a little bit of my Christmas decor and I didn't put a whole lot out this year just because this was our first year in this home and we don't have everything exactly the way we want it yet but I did want to share with you the few things that we did do and show you a few of my ornaments that I love and just um, talk a little bit about where some of my decorations came from and I hope that you enjoy it. So starting at the front of the house, I have my Christmas wreath that I made and I actually have a video that I showed how I made this wreath and I'm so happy with it. I have really loved it this year. I love my cute little reindeer wreath holder. And then down here I have this is like a sled that has the bucks on it. Some good friends of ours got this for us when we moved as a gift. And I just think it's adorable. And then on the other side of our door, we have this snowman that lights up that we have had for years and years and years. My mom got this for us probably 15 years ago. All right, so let's go inside. Inside the door, I have my joy letters that I used this in my old house and I wasn't real sure how I was going to do it in this house. Um, I used to put lights on it, but in this house I just hung them up there and I put these sweet little ornaments on them tied on with a ribbon and I'm real happy with the way they turned out. Then I've got my Target Christmas tree with the lights on them and my lantern that I leave on all the time. And I just tied on this little sugarberry pear ornament. And then down on my bench, I just have these little snowmen. I wanted to have a nice pillow, but pillows tend to slide off this bench. So this worked out really well. You'll see in my house that I have a lot of handprint art and I just love to display these at Christmas time. Um, it reminds me of when the kids were little and I'm just so glad that I captured these um, years ago so that I can bring them out every year and enjoy them. So in this little area here, which is just these cabinets that are really thin, I wanted something that wasn't quite so bulky. So I just leaned this little um, reindeer guy that I got at the dollar spot against the wall and he says, be merry on him. And I really love this guy. I think he looks super cute. And then this little vase that I got at Hobby Lobby, I just stuck these in there with the sugar berries and uh, also the little snowman. I was thinking about using him in the wreath but I ended up going with the owl, so he's a great addition here. On our mantle, I have um, our sweet ornaments that I picked up. I picked these ornaments up a few years back at the Pottery Barn outlet, and I think I only paid like $5 a piece for them, which was a steal, because I bought them after the season was over, and then I just paid a local lady to put our names on them for us. And I put these two backwards so that I could hang them facing in um, on both sides so they both face the fireplace. So that's what I did there. And then down here at the bottom, I paid full price for this guy. Um, I did not get a deal, but I looked at this one year for Chino because it looks just like him, right? I mean, look at this guy. It's perfect. So I found this at Pottery Barn Kids and I looked at it one year and wanted to purchase it and was waiting for it to go on sale because I just don't buy things unless they go on sale and it sold out in a day. So the next year I was like, I'm paying full price because I have to have it. So I waited a whole nother year and then I got it for him and I had it monogrammed by the same lady. Over here I have these vases that I picked up from um, Mary and Martha. It's like a, a home-based business that is through Dayspring and they had these little um, jars, um, lanterns is what they call them, but you know, 
And what I did is I just have random candles in it. They don't all fit, but it looks okay. And in the bottom, I purchased these at Hobby Lobby. They're just these little um, glittery balls that I put in the bottom. And when it's lit up, it just looks so pretty. So here's my Christmas tree. And I just have very random ornaments. And I picked this little guy up this year. I don't know what my thing is with owls this year, but I just think he's so, so cute. And then we have a lot that are like monogrammed with our names. This is my kids in 2004. So this would have been Allie Joe's very first Christmas. This is some that I ordered. I ordered these, I believe these came from Mpix or Shutterfly. And they're just really tiny little um, ornaments, but the picture is placed right on them and they're really, really nice quality. I love those. Here's another one that I did like that. just random pictures of the kids through the years. This is one that one of my friends made for me and it's just on a little block of wood and they put the picture right on it. I just think that is adorable and it has the year on the back. So this was last year's ornament. Isn't that so beautiful? Here's one from 2005 and this was my idea of, I just buy these little frames and add a ribbon to the back of it and then I can put their picture in, and I just wrote this on with Sharpie so that works really well um, but this was when Allie Jo would have been um, just a year old and Josh would have been four years old there so here's another one this is 2007 so Allie Jo would have been three here and Josh would have been six Another thing that I like to do, a few years the kids did these little handprint art things, which you see around my house. This is one that Josh did in school, and we just took a picture of it and had it put on an ornament. And I actually have another one that we did. Let's see, here they are. We also did this one. So they did the reindeer and I took a picture of those and just printed those out on these sweet little ornaments. So I treasure those. So as you can see, my ornaments are pretty random, but we love every one of them and I just really enjoy getting them out each year and remembering um, the year that we bought them and just the memories, I just love it. Then in here in the kitchen, I have another one of my handprint arts. We did this Christmas tree, so Ali Jo was six and Josh was nine. That brings me to my bay window area. This my um, sweet friend Trisha got for me years and years ago and it's just a little snowman lamp and it's got this little lighted part on the top. She bought this from Amish country and I added our name to the front of it. I don't think you can see it but yeah I added our name to the sign. So I really love that and then on the other side this is a little um, picture frame and it's got like an easel on the back so that we can 
stand it up. And it just says, True Love was born in a stable. And this is um, a little thing that Allie Jo made out of popsicle sticks many years ago. And she just put it all together as the manger scene. And um, I saw this and thought, oh, I think that'll fit perfectly on there. So I just hot glued it onto this frame and that worked out really well. Okay, so over here on this little ledge, I have a couple of picture frames with Christmas cards that we've used in the past. So this is one when the kids were a lot younger. I think Allie Jo was probably five here and that would have made Josh eight years old. And then there's one um, in 2011. So that would have made Allie Jo seven and Josh would have been 10. I don't know if you can see, there we go. And then I've just got this little bowl with, um, with some of these little chocolate bells. And this was a bowl that Josh made in preschool. And I'll just pull these out real quick so you can see it. But they painted it and I just love getting that out each year. This was in 2005, so he would have been four years old then. One year, we made these little um, manger scene. It's like Joseph and Mary and the baby. And we made these out to give with gift cards for the manger. And they painted them and helped um, their daddy cut them out and glue them together. And this says, Allie Jo was seven and Josh was 10. And then I've just got one of my Yankee Candle Christmas candy. It just smells like cinnamon. On my kitchen counter, I have this Let It Snow sign that I painted last year, along with some Christmas tissues and the snowman from Bath and Body Works this year. That brings us into the dining room, and I'm going to share with you, this is a um, canvas that Allie Jo painted when she was seven years old. She just saw a picture of this online and decided she wanted to make it and she just did an amazing job. What she did is she painted the background first with the swirling so it's like you know the shining of the star and then she did the grass hill, she did the manger with the star and then here I'm, I think she traced out what she wanted it to look like in pencil and then she just painted it in so it's very shadowy. I love this so much. Every year when I bring it out I'm just so thankful that we did that and I have that as a memory. Over the buffet I have a few more of my kids Christmas art that we've done. One year they made these little Christmas trees out of buttons and we just glued them right on the canvas. They painted the canvas red and painted the little um, bottom of the tree there. Ali Jo was seven and over here Josh was ten. And then we also did another handprint art. This um, huge wreath. This was the same year. This is one of my favorite things we did. I just love it. This year um, I did a video where I made this little guy. Um, the snowman jar ring, jar lid ring, and he lights up. So I've really enjoyed him this year. More Christmas card pictures that I've framed. Here's the kids with Santa one year. A rare sighting because Allie Jo doesn't like Santa much. More pictures of the kids in years past. And this is where I keep my Christmas CDs. And let me tell you, I have a bunch. These are all Christmas CDs. One year I found a whole bunch of these at a garage sale and I just grabbed them. So that's a lot. And then finally, this is my table piece, the centerpiece for my dining room. And I featured this on my Goodwill Challenge video. I actually picked this box up from Kirkland. 
and it was before Thanksgiving, so they had a lot of things that said grateful. I will probably use this box throughout the year and just switch out um, the guts of it because who can't be grateful all year long? Um, these little guys are what I picked up from my Goodwill Challenge and they're just Foltzgraf um, votive cups. And I just sat them down in there with some of the greenery that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and I love it. I light these every day. I just think they're so beautiful and such a great addition to my table. I love them so much. So that's it for my home decor for this year, 2017. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.